for any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check out G2A.com. And if you need any Ultimate Team coins, then head over to UFIFA. The code CHEZ will get you a discount on both sites and all links are down below. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to episode number 41 of my player here on FIFA 15. We start with a game away from home against Stoke and the second game of the episode is a massive one. We're at home at the Stadium of Light against North East Rivals Newcastle. It's the Tyne and Weird Derby today, our first one since our move to Sunderland. Newcastle currently sit below us in 15th in the table. We're having a good season so far after 15 games up in 7th. So hopefully we can get 6 points today. That's the plan at least. Away from home against Stoke is not going to be easy. And uh, the Tyne and Weir derby is the sort of game where form goes out the window. So it could go either way. But we will of course do our utmost to uh, to get 6 points for the team today. We'll have to play in our away strip against Stoke. Of course as always if you enjoy the video then hit that like button. If we could hit over four to 500 again that would be absolutely superb. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As I record this we're close to to uh, to 36k we may even have hit it by the time you see this on Tuesday evening but if we haven't sub and help me get there if you're not already subscribed to the channel and if you are sub to the channel thank you for your continued support of course there was an episode of Chelsea Karim went up earlier on today and uh, there will have been uh, another episode of that series and the fourth installment of, uh, of the career mode Road to Glory at Cambridge United will have gone up last night as well. So check the channel page for anything you may have missed, but uh, let's get cracking. So we, we need six points, the team wants six points, and most importantly, we want to get bragging rights in the North East against Newcastle in the second game. Here's Van Unhout down the left-hand side. Got a couple of men in support, one of which is Seb Larsen. I've pulled off a little bit deeper. That is a great cross, and we are 1-0 up. That is a great header by Mavrias. And the ball across from Seb Larsen was absolutely fantastic. He does have a really, really good delivery on him, the, uh, the Swede. And that was uh, perfectly executed there. Oh, what a whip. That is fantastic. Did he head it or did he volley that? I have to have a look at the replay. It's slowed down. No, he did head it. Great header as well. A great way, fantastic way to take the lead here. 1-0 away from home at the Britannia. Glenn Whelan pushing forward for Stoke. They might create something here. They've got, as you saw there, Japanese striker Okazaki up top. Bozan comes close to getting them an equaliser just a couple of minutes after we took the lead. Yeah, they've got Japanese striker Okazaki up top. Brought him in from the Bundesliga. So that should be a tough test for our defence because he is a very, very good striker. Glenn Whelan. Oh, Glenn Whelan's just let that throw hit him in the face. Might find ourselves a way through here to get a second goal. Jacarini. Oh, that's really well fed into Jack Rodwell. Finds me. Oh, it's taken its time to get to me. We will get the shot away and we make it too. Fantastic game for us so far away from home. I didn't expect this. I thought Stoke away was going to be really difficult. It took for, it seems to take forever to arrive at my feet. I tried to go towards it and then open the gap up. Went through the defenders there because I don't know what the goalkeeper's doing. It's kind of dived sideways. That's odd. Anyway, we'll ignore the goalkeeper's uh, rather strange save. But we are 2 0 up. A goal for us, a goal for Mavrias. And it's Sunderland 2 Stoke 0. Can, can he get himself an assist here? Let's try a little bit of skill. We've done well. I'm going to have to come back. Can we get ourselves an assist? We'll find Seb Larson might try a shot. No, it's fed Jack Rodwell. He has the shot. Oh, a good save by Jack Butland. That was floating towards that far top corner. Close to a third for us here in this first half. Really didn't expect this sort of result away from home at the Britannia. It's normally such a tough place to go, but we've had an easy game so far. If we could have this, a similar sort of performance and hopefully result in, uh, in the game against Newcastle as well, I'll be absolutely thrilled. Okazaki into Nzonzi, Stephen Ireland making runs in front of him, might find him, and Nzonzi goes alone, and that actually wasn't that far away, a decent effort from 30, 35 yards, 16 appearances, 13 goals for us so far this year in the Premier League, that really is impressive, let the ball run across us through the defender's legs, goalkeeper does something ridiculous, <laughs> and there goes the second goal again. Corner for Stoke in first half stoppage time. If they get a goal now, it will really make for a tasty second half. But I'd rather it wasn't a tasty second half. Oh, and they almost set it up there. Stephen Ireland, I think it was on the end of the chance eventually, but ball goes wide that we go in at half time with a 2 0 lead. They weren't quite able to get it back to 2 1. Throwing for Stoke. Avras finds. Rodwell. Jack Rodwell just. <laughs> Somehow lets the ball run 10 yards away from him before. Ref penalty, surely. Given a penalty for Sunderland, a chance for a third goal, Jack Rodwell seemed to, to just let the ball run from the throw on. I wasn't really too sure what he was doing. Then steps inside the box, 
and invites the challenge from Mike Wilson. There was nothing really going on there. He just, I'm not really too sure what he was trying to do. It is a definite penalty, but I don't really know what the plan was there for Jack Roddle, unless he genuinely played for the challenge to get a pen. It's going to be us to take it. Concentration on the face. Cheeky Ronaldo kind of style to take up or to start. Oh, that's a great penalty. Please with that. Tiki Ronaldo uh, penalty running style is what we have at the minute and we've got the uh, the Benzema salute as the celebration as well. Second goal for us in this game, a third for Sunderland and it's an easy game for us so far. 3-0. It's Bojan. Stoke trying to get themselves a consolation goal if anything. Here's Mambaram Juve. Not really going anywhere though. Phil Bardsley. Stephen Inslons, he's got Ireland in front of him. They might get themselves a consolation goal here. At least one more chance before the game's out. Mark Wilson rides that challenge well. Probably could have gone down there and got himself a peno, but stands it up for Mambaram Juve, but heads it straight at Vito Minone. Staying at 3-0, and it looks like we're going to get the win. Well, we are definitely going to get the win. It looks as if we're going to get a 3-0 win, is what I'm trying to say. Quite simple in the end, then. A run of the mill 3-0 victory against Stoke City away from home at the Britannia. That is a result I did not expect, but it's exactly the sort of result that, that we need to give us the confidence to go into the local derby in the next game and really give Newcastle a run for their money. They just drew one all at home against Villa, so they won't be in the best of spirits. We definitely are. I'm not sure where that win will put us in the league table as well, actually, thinking about it. We'll have a quick look. We're up to fourth. Sunderland in fourth. Incredible scenes. Newcastle at home then is the game upcoming and this could be something very tasty indeed. Playing in the rain, unfortunately, in this uh, midweek game. Under the floodlights though, which is always nice. Can't beat the atmosphere at a game under the floodlights, especially against a rival like Newcastle. We've switched to attacking in the opening few minutes, which clearly shows the uh, the way the manager wants to take this uh, take this game and what sort of tactics he wants to play. We're going to be on the front foot attacking our biggest rivals. It might be a bit of a dirty game. I may even find myself trying to get involved in some defensive action and throwing the uh, the tackles in myself just to kind of get in the spirit of a local derby as well. Oh, great feed from Van Arnholt. We're on the attack here. Giacarini, can we create an opportunity? He's done well. I'll call for the cross. He's come, but it's blocked. And Cicciotto is probably going to get it away. I thought about throwing myself in there. Two-footed. Oh, held back. We haven't got a booking in a while in this series, to be completely honest. Maybe I'll try and get myself booked in this one just so I can get a decent crunch in on an opposition player. Oh, nice little back heel from Yannin Anita into Cech Teote to Musa Sissoko, who did get himself sent off at the weekend in real life for a rather untasteful uh, stamp, really, on Andy Carroll after getting himself booked for kicking the ball away a few minutes earlier. Wow, Cech Teote rattles the bar. That's the first chance of the game so far, and that was a strike and a half. So much power behind that. You can see how high it went off the bar. Incredible strike. Fortunately, though, for us, not into the back of the net. Good ball by Robwell into Larson. Oh, good feet by Seb Larson. Call for it here. Is he going to come up and make a run off me? No, but someone might there. It's Jack Rodwell with a shot. Good save down low by Tim Krull. That's our first chance of the game as well. This game's starting to liven up. We might see a goal sooner rather than later. Tech Teote inside to Vernon Anita. Takes it around one challenge really, really well. Here's Vargas. I think that's probably Eduardo Vargas, isn't it? Formerly of QPR. CMD on, though. Oh, great feet again to get past Patrick Van Anholt once. Plays it back to Yamat. Might get a cross in here, Daryl Yamat. Perhaps Dutchman thinking about it. Great feet again. Oh, Newcastle playing some really nice stuff here. Dm Dion into Jonas Gutierrez, into Eduardo Vargas. Back to Anita. Finally, they have the shot. A really well-worked move, but actually the shot in the end was quite tame. Newcastle playing really well here. This is quite a game so far. Here's Jack Rodwell. Oh, it's a nice ball into Liam Bridcut. I'll try and make a run down the channel. Call for through ball. It's come. It's arrived. We'll play the ball inside. It's Jack Rodwell. There he is. We've got ourselves an assist. And Sunderland have a 1-0 lead in the Tyneware derby. In first half stoppage time, really good work on the edge of the box by Liam Bridcut. Tidy little through ball down the, uh, down the channel there for me. Just had to have the awareness there to square it across. The defender with him will be really disappointed that he's missed the ball as it's come across. I'm not sure. I think it's Czech Teote. It is Jack Rodwell profiting from that mistake from the Ivorian. And we find ourselves 1-0 up as we go in at half-time. Really pleased with that. About time we got ourselves in front in this game. Here's Bridcut and Larson at 40 yards out. There's so little space here on the edge of the box. 
plenty of Newcastle defenders back. They don't want to give away another one. The call for the cross. Billy Jones stands it up. Oh, it's good defending from Chet Diote. Tim Krul making a camera save, but never really under any threat there. Big ping from Yama. If he can flick that on CM De Jong, we might be in trouble. And indeed, Eduardo Vargas has profited. It's going to spread it out wide to Musa Sissoko. He's going to find CMD on the box, flicked on, but it's a comfortable save for Vito Minone. Closest Newcastle have come so far then since they hit the bar in the early minutes, and we're an hour in. If we can keep them to uh, one decent chance a half, then we should be coming away with all three points here. Nice ball into Katamar. Katamar will find me. We're on part of the bus, so I'm not really going to get much support here. We'll try a nice turn, and then can we get inside Mike Williamson? We can. Chance to finish it off. Tim Krull gets the save. Is it going in? No. Just gets enough on it, Tim Krull, to get it across the line and out for a corner and not a throw in. Oh, we're so unlucky there. Tried to just slot it underneath him. He's got just enough on it, the underside of his palm. We've gone from part of the bus to defensive just to get a few more bodies in the box, I think, for this corner, although it isn't the best of set pieces. is going to hoof it clear. Five minutes still to go. Don't know which way this one's going to go, but as it stands, we're going to get all three points again. Up you go. That's a good header. Well, I'm going to get that under control as well. Right. Can we finish this off in style and go for another solo run? I'm going to try it. It's working so far. I'm going to be a little bit cheeky and try a dink. Oh, straight into Tim Krull's midriff. See him recoil backwards there as it came at him at pace. Almost winding him, but there goes the final whistle. Newcastle nil, Sunderland won. A win at home in the Tyne and Weir derby. The fans will be absolutely delighted. I am too. Six points from today's episode. Goals in the first game, assist in the second. And we get maximum points from today's two games. That is exactly what we needed. We were fourth in the league prior to today's game. I don't think we could go any higher. I think there was a big gap, but have we retained that fourth spot in the league that's the most important thing right now if we could get Sunderland oh, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna think about European football at Sunderland 17 games played so far this season 21 still to go a long way but uh, we are fourth on 29 points 22 goals scored 14 against of those 22 goals scored we have scored 14 of them wowzers and we've got two assists as well so of the 24 we've uh, was it 24 or 22 my brain fails me but we've been involved it's 22 we've been involved in 16 of the 22 goals scored so far this season we're having a very very good year in this second year 20 goals 20 games played sorry all told so far in this second season 18 goals in all competitions we'll come back on Thursday we'll, uh, we'll have Norwich and then West Brom and then we're into the transfer window for the weekend we've got a, uh, a Capital One Cup semi-final coming up in the month of January as well as well as an FA Cup tie against Aston Villa it's all go right now in my player and things are going our way as well that's going to bring today's to a close drop the video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days from this series the Chelsea series or the career mode road to glory series and I will see you next time